Hi, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to paint this crappie replica. This is a part three in a series where in the previous videos I molded and cast this fish. I start by blacking out the entire fish. Part of an antiquing process, same way I start any of my other fish if you've seen my other videos. When that's dry, I go over the whole fish with 4 aught steel wool. This brings out the scale detail. Next I'm going to come in with some white, lighten up the bottom half of the fish. Now we're going to spray just a little dark along the back. Not too heavy. You want to show some detail through. That's about right. Now I missed along the back with a gold pearl. and along the bottom half of the fish with a chrome pearl. Now I'm whitening up the fins just a little bit. The next step I'm going to do is come in with a brush and some liquid latex and mask off the areas in which I want the white and then I'll go over it with black. Remove the liquid latex and that's been working out pretty well for me for crappies. Keep in mind this is just the way I paint a crappie. There's a lot of different ways to get the same results and even I change my methods from fish to fish occasionally. Before painting any fish, make sure you have good reference. I'm going to use this. I'm going to tape it right up here on my mounting stand. So I have something to look at so I know what I'm trying to achieve. I'm going to start applying some liquid latex to mask off the markings where I do not want paint. Look at your reference photo. There's some random markings.
and repeat this process on all the fins. Now with black and looking at your reference picture closely, we start laying out our detail. Very small in the lower portion of the fish, the markings and increase in size as it goes up. And again, details get noticeably bigger as you go up on the fish. We'll just continue to work our way up there. Getting to the back, it's almost solid black. Now oh, the detailing is looking pretty decent. I'm gonna mist a little more black over the back just to kind of tie it all together and then I'm going to do a coat on the fins When that dries, we take off our liquid latex and see what we have. Now I'm going to install my paired fins, do them a little bit of epoxy work, and then we'll be able to finish this one up. So now I've got my paired fins installed. I've done a little epoxy work, and I've touched things up just to blend a little bit. Now we're going to start adding some color, just a little bit, just a fine mist over the fish. I'm going to start with a little yellow ochre. Just a fine mist. I'll hit the fins. And just a fine mist over the center part of the body. Just to give it a little color. Don't want to overdo this. Then I'm going to go over it with just a little bit of green. On the very back.
And just a quick mist of gold over the top. Next I'm going to apply some iridescence along the back that you most often see on crappies. I'm going to use a violet, a gold, a green iridescent, and a turquoise iridescent just randomly on a few scales along the back to give it a little sparkle. Just apply this with a little brush. Just a few scale tips at random. And a little blue. And you can take your time according to your reference and just how pretty you want to make this fish look. You can add different colors. It's the sort of thing when you catch it right in the light, it, it just makes the fish come alive. Next, a little green. Now this can be done with powders as well as the acrylic paints. The powders are a little more subtle. And you can also mist the fish with different iridescence. All give a slightly different look. You're in control here. Do whatever you want. And the last color I'm going to apply is violet. Just a little bit here and there. Next time you have the opportunity to catch a crappie, just hold it for a little bit into the light. Different angles. You'd be surprised all the different colors there are in that fish as it hits the light from different angles. And it just makes a prettier fish hanging on your wall. Now the next thing I do once this is dry is give it a coat of clear lacquer to seal it all in. Now except for the final gloss, I think we can call this fish done. So now it's time to apply the finished gloss. I'm using a two-part automotive I'm going to put on a real thin tack coat. I'm going to let it sit for about 10 minutes. Then I'm going to put on a heavy final coat. And now the final coat. There's our completed fish. All ready to attach a hanger on the back, put on a piece of driftwood or the backing of your choice. Thank you much for watching.